Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the Righteous Fire Inquisitor progress in SSF. And I have a lot to update for you guys for the day. So before we uh, get into it, I'm just going to go jump into a quick tier 14 map. The only reason it's tier 14 and not tier 16 is I just like Thicket a lot. I think it's really dense. Uh, I don't have all my watch stones yet or void stones, but spoiler, you'll notice that I have the Maven one. Uh, so Maven has actually been slain. was pretty happy. It was pretty messy, mainly just because I was really tired slash, I don't know, I didn't really feel like bossing. You guys know how it goes with POE. Oh, it was actually a little loud. Let me just turn this down. Just a little... So to talk about just some of the things that have occurred, um, I do now have a Master of Fire Large Cluster Jewel. I was actually not even trying to get a Master of Fire Large Cluster Jewel, actually. I was trying to get a... Well, basically, uh, I'll kind of explain what happened. So I was, I was mapping yesterday, and we were doing, you know, some Delirium content. We were running a, a Glacier map. And I pulled like the whole zone, like a lot of people have been doing, right? I used my blue pandemonium sentinel, I exploded it, and ironically, not even out of the delirium actually, but out of the regular explosion from sentinel, we finally dropped an 8th passive large uh, fire. And then I basically did what you're not supposed to do, and I scour alked it like 5 times, and it ended up hitting prismatic heart master of fire, which pushes master of fire in the front, and honestly, the baby nodes are not bad either. They're like five chaos and three, or sorry, three chaos and five fire. Um, so I definitely want to recraft another large cluster, but this is too good to pass up. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because I used over 85 uh, Eldritch currency on my gloves trying to get fire exposure, and I failed. Uh, that is a lot of currency to go through in SSF if you're not like ultra rushing or designating yourself to just purely altar farming 24 7 but that's not really what i wanted to do um mainly because these things just never i feel have the uh they never have the one with the, the the currency anymore i don't know what it's called the uh you know these it's always like map currency now i feel but anyway that's regardless i got master of fire so now we have a source of exposure so that's really 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 good uh, another thing you'll notice is uh i have an elder helmet now we were just talking about strategies for getting an Elder Helm because I get the question asked a lot. Uh, and what I planned on doing was just farming my Elder Guardians because Elder Guardians drop Elder Gear. And there's a very, not a very good chance, but I would say you're much more likely to get your Elder Helmet out of a Elder Guardian fight than just randomly putting in Elder Scarabs. I happened to get it through randomly putting in Elder Scarabs uh, when I was running like my tier 16 maps. So that was pretty, pretty lucky. Um, furthermore, I, um, I one-tapped my helmet, so one Essence of Horror, and I got, uh, 30 Ellie, a Resistance. Int, Int is actually not bad. Int is crit chance, uh, because of our Ascendancy. Don't worry about it. And then we hit Conk Effect, and then I Exalted and got Armor. Uh, I, I don't want to recraft my helmet, because I'd rather buy, okay, well, I can't buy a MSSF, but I'd rather find another helmet base and craft on that helmet base, just because you know how RNG is, I could go 27 horrors and never hit Conk Effect again. I would really like to get a burn damage helmet though. Because if I get a burn damage helmet, then I can try to unveil plus 2 AoE. Uh, which would just be a nice damage boost. Anyway though, uh, let's go ahead and get back into it. Why the music volume went so quiet? Okay, uh, so right, this is the helmet that we got. But I want to go over some other things that we got as well. So as you guys know, we killed Maven. Uh, I got kind of unlucky. I got uh, the exact same piece of gear twice off Maven, and it was not the boots. It was um, what is there, this thing? I got on or Arn's Arn's anguish. Yeah, I got this two times. Kind of shit, but hey, that just adds more content. So we're gonna be gonna be bossing some more. Uh, GG. Why does your music keep stopping? This is very uneventful. Can you like go back loud, please? my first time trying out the in-game music instead of my d2 ost and boy is this shit right now it's really good for boss fights just not good for like general content i feel um so i ended up finally switching my shield i don't know if i have my old shield let's see is it in gear where's my gear tab uh yeah i'm not too sh oh here it is 
I used this shield up until level 96. Uh, it's an item level 37 shield that just literally gives fire damage with plus one fire. Doesn't even have life. Um, pretty good shield. <laughs> it gives me like 20% damage to my fire trap, like my total damage. Uh, ended up switching for an Ons though because, I mean, it's 1,100 armor, 100 life, really high block chance, and 2 max all res. It is such a disgustingly good shield for its price, my goodness. You don't have to worry about the Endurance Charge stuff. We run Infernal Cry for the most part anyway, so just a really, really, really good shield. Um, moving on to something else, I want to talk about bossing a little bit. So in SSF, it's a lot more difficult to push for damage, especially if you don't have as much time. Uh, one thing I want to talk about that I recommended, but I didn't really cover a lot, so I'm not a big fan of gear swapping, but stuff like this makes a pretty big difference. So when you're doing something like Maven might not be the best uh, example for this, but Maven or Searing Exarch or, you know, any boss that literally doesn't do much chaos. And I think Maven can do chaos depending on what minion she summons or bosses she summons. But regardless, you can just essence craft an opal ring. So I'll show you what I did. I basically went here and go to anger, right? So you can see my anger essences are right here. So catalyst this for 20% quality. Catalyst means if you go over here and you type in like elemental damage, the turbulent catalyst increases LE damage. So scour it so it's white. Use four, you get 20%. You can bless your base to be the right, like the highest base. Um, so you get like, I have 27% increase there. And then because of the anger rule, I have 37%. So it's like a 60% damage ring with life. And all I do is just swap it out for my, that's rush, because I don't really need Onslaught on the boss fight, right? And that gives you a nice damage boost for just a specific boss, right? And then you just put it back. It takes pretty much no currency to make. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Other than that, uh, Vault a bunch of gems. Still don't have any 21 versions of my main gems yet. They're all still 20, uh, which is okay. You know, I'm happy to see that we're still downing a lot of content. Uh, but yeah, still 20 and 20, nothing Nothing changed there, kind of unlucky. Um, I have done some Atlas respecking like quite a bit. Essentially, the big parts that kind of have been moving around is these points right here. And these points here have been wiggled around a lot. Uh, I initially respect, I think it was Arby to come up here and start uh, acquiring the Guardian maps because if I want like a usable Watcher's Eye or I want to spawn Uber Elder, I'm going to need a shit ton of Guardian maps. Uh, in general so you can see my bulk has been growing quite a bit where is it where is it where i'm drunk here we go okay got it here we go my bulk has been growing quite a bit so i have at least one set of everything which is pretty nice uh what else is there i crafted a new belt for myself uh, i was pretty happy not the best rolls but damn it's not that bad for ssf so T3 life with uh, T3 chaos with T1 life regen and then a hybrid res craft. So my chaos res is capped. Um, it's capped actually a little bit over, which is even better, which is fantastic. Um, I think the last thing to talk about is we actually ended up getting a harvest boss. Um, I believe the harvest boss was this one, the synthesize. Uh, what that meant is I was able to fight Oshabi, and killing Oshabi unlocked an extra five slots for my Horty Crafting Station, which I have never done before, by the way. So really, really happy with my current playthrough. It's just kind of like fueling me to want to play more when you accomplish things in SSF that you don't in trade because you're just like so much more motivated to play, right? Uh, another thing I want to talk about is, um, is this right here. Change a stack of Essence into an Essence of the same tier. So... I feel that a lot of newer players don't really understand Harvest, and I completely understand that. So I want to just explain in its simplest form. When you go and corrupt, and you get unlucky, and you get hysteria, or you get delirium, or you get insanity, if you ever see this essence mod, I can't do this in here because GGG, because it's going to drop. Well, actually, can I do it in here? No, no, no. I have to do this in an actual map, but you can actually change these ones exclusively into each other so you don't ever have to use that specific essence one over here you can quite literally use it down here on these four and it only rolls into these four so anytime you get any of them it's basically an essence of horror if you're doing harvest which is pretty sick 
other than that, I think that's pretty much about it. Uh, you know, big goals moving forward right now would be dropping these boots and getting the Legacy of Fury boots. I'm actually pretty much ready to go. Uh, I need a tiny bit more cold res, which to be fair, my helmet has like 26 fire. I'm just going to switch the fire res on my helmet to cold res. And then I get the slap on Legacy of Fury. And then I just have to get 12 more chaos res. Uh, so I'm really excited about this because we are doing really good. I think the last thing is, I don't know if I talked about this, I actually exalted my gloves. These are the same gloves I had before, but I exalted them because I, just the chances of me replacing my gloves were kind of slim right now because I'm currently harvest crafting a lot of gear. Um, and I hit T2 cold, I hit T2 fire res and then swapped it over to cold res. Uh, so that was pretty cool. That's another set of extra res I was very happy about. No clue how we're going to fit in melding just yet. That's going to be for another day. Uh, for now, we're just going to be happy with our, our current res and stuff. Uh, I would like to switch around the links on my chest piece, but I'm just going to try crafting a new chest piece, to be honest. It's a pain in the ass, so I don't really like crafting gear that I'm currently using. It's just super annoying. So that's why I have this harvest tab here where um, still I am trying to craft new gloves, but it's not really a big focus. I have a chest piece here. Even though it's not armor ES, it's still really good, um, especially because like if you get if you get your suffixes is like physical damage reduction, life regeneration, resistance, and then you get like life and then life is ES. That's a sick chest. Um, other than that, everything has been going into this marble amulet for the life of me. It doesn't really want to get anything good, but this is also a big part of our progression is getting a proper marble amulet. A plus one marble amulet would give a lot of damage to my fire trap. Also, because my RF right now is currently level 21, um, if I can get it to 24, we can get another breakpoint on the Righteous Fire AoE. So getting it to 24 would be like uh, a plus one, plus one weapon. So that would bring it to 22. I think the Marble Amulet plus one would be 23. And then volleying it and getting a 21 would be 24. Or I could drop my shield and get like an offensive spirit shield. Uh, but yeah, that'll give me another breakpoint on the RF radius. Probably bring it from like here to like here. Doesn't seem like much, but boy, does it all add up. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Of course, I will uh, I will post them down below. Uh, I'll put or sorry, I'll post the POB down below. Uh, sorry if this video is a little bit more messy. I'm I'm very 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 tired. Uh, but also, do not forget that on this goals sheet over here. Uh, this is where I have been updating everything for you guys. So day seven, uh, I'm going to post this right over here, this video. And then you can kind of see everything that I've been doing over here. Um, yeah. Oh, I guess one more thing. We did get another drop. It's in the special tab. Let's see. Yeah, I got a... Um, I got a, an awakened fire pen. And I also got a paradoxica. But it bricked. The... Yeah, I got a I got a paradox go over here, but it bricked. Uh, we unveiled like the fizz at first, and then everything else at the suffix was just garbage. So I just picked the worst one. You know, you got to deal double damage with the weapon that always deals double damage. All right. Anyway, though, now that is pretty much about it. So gonna catch you guys all later. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Don't forget, you can uh, like, share, and subscribe if you like the video, and you can catch me streaming live every day, but Mondays at Twitch.tv. Flashbox.